first place for me. Holy shit. This thing is a monster. What's going on guys? We're back in Forza Horizon 3 with another Porsche Forza-thon. This one's really cool because it's for the brand new, I'm sort of brand new, I mean it's a pretty old car, but it's brand new for Forza Horizon 3 Porsche 959. So this is called Show Us What You're Working With, The Morning Commute. You need to win a championship to win the Porsche 959. So what you gotta do is either go online and you can do a co-op campaign together, or you can go in and do uh, a, just a solo campaign if, if you don't have any friends. So there's that. But yeah, this one's not really anything of a challenge per se. So, I mean, it's kind of boring. I've been saying for quite a while, I want cool challenges, but apparently it's not a thing. So let's do it. We got the events. The last time I did one of these championships was so freaking long ago. So, all right, let's jump in, bang them out. We're in the 918. If you missed the video I made on that, I guess it was on Wednesday. You should check it out. I'll link to it in the description down below. There's actually a really cool, like, little guide on the website for how you could unlock it. Oh, I should always say at the beginning of these videos, I always forget. If you're watching this video down the line and this Forza Thon is no longer going on, the only way you can get this car, for now, is to, to get it on the auction house. So, just keep that in mind. And I've heard... A lot of people getting really mad because a lot of people are going online and sort of like trying to price fix the Porsches basically and they're putting them up for like 11 to 20 million dollars which is just insane so it's Alan and I versus every other person I don't actually know what difficulty it's on so I hope this goes well oh god all right come on Porsche I built this thing to be a rocket ship let's hope it works oh wait you know what the problem I'm having is uh, you remember how we finished the video on, when was it? On Wednesday, like I was saying? I finished it off with drag racing. Whoops. So note to self, I probably shouldn't use this car in the next one. It's, uh, not the fastest thing, for sure. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Should not, should not do that. Whoops. Holy shit balls! Apparently this is the Ferrari FXXK thing. Event. What the hell? What the hell? Those two guys came out of nowhere. Legit. They're like swarms of bees. Just saying. The good thing about a championship is you can just set all the races to one lap. Just saying. First place in one lap. Holy shit, it's a bunch of Ultimas this time. What the hell is going on? I really don't know what the difficulty is for online championships, but it seems kind of easy just saying it's like 30 or 40 percent of the way through the race i'm in first place now i may have had a slight problem with one of the corners and two bumbling bees sort of shot past me oh 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 that was close i keep saying all the time even if you're not interested in this particular car just buy the thing chuck it up on the auction house just say anyways there we go all done You'll get some sweet money. Ooh, and we get Road Buddy. What's Road Buddy? Complete 10 events. Oh, I didn't have that before? Yeah, today's shaping up pretty well. I, I, I'm i okay with that, man. Well, let's get out of the co-op campaign and go head over to a private free roam session and invite a bunch of you guys in. So, as I say always, if you'd like to be a part of these, follow me on Twitter so you can know, get known of when I'm doing them. Yeah, words are hard. And we are full, just like that. Thank you to everyone who came out to come play around with the 959. Also, can I just say, I guarantee within some point in this video, I'm gonna call it a 595, so just, just bear with me. I, I confuse my Porsches and Fiats quite often. Okie dokie. So, oh, oh, I don't know where I'm going. All right, the Porsche 959. Where is this thing? This was at one point the world's fastest car, I believe. Um, I hope that stat is correct, but I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. Right there. So, it's from 1987, 450 horsepower, 400, 370 torque, uh, 3,100 pounds. It's not too bad. I like this thing. This, I would actually say, is probably one of my favorite Porsches, just because it's quite cool, and it's, it's kind of different. To the average person, it's just another Porsche, but if you go in and actually rip this thing apart, it is very different and very, very cool. Uh, what's that? Why are you permanently carrying around a bag? Inside is looking very fancy. You you even got a back seat back there to fit your minuscule children. That's a cool looking car. So 
I want to drive this thing stock first, and then we can come in and upgrade it in a little bit and just see how crazy we can make it. So let's go for, I mean, we can go up for another cruise up the Great Ocean Road and maybe go do a point-to-point -point race all the way up here. Yeah, let's try that, as this was one very, very fast car. We should try that out for sure. This is just one of those cars, though, that is just genuinely cool. It's just, it's just cool. I like it. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, there's a, nine, there's a 918 right on my side. Nope. Was a 918 right on my side. I'm sure with some pretty sweet upgrades, we can do some cool stuff to this and make it pretty goddamn fast. I've noticed a common trend, I'll say, amongst a lot of the Porsches is that you can actually do some really nice upgrades to them, which is, like, really good. Even, like, the race car ones. Like, the 918, although it's sort of, like, race car, you can still do some pretty cool stuff to it. Same goes for the, the GT3 RS, the new one. You can do some pretty cool stuff to that as well. How does this thing fare as a rally car? I mean, because it's kind of slow, it's actually kind of good. Like, it's totally not uncontrollable. You know what I really want to see, though? I really want to see more RWB. Like, what? We have the license for RWB and we have one RWB car? Not cool. Not cool. I want some more. I'm not saying about this car specifically, but, I mean, we've got the Porsches in. There are a couple that do have some RWB kits on them. And... We just don't have them in real life. All right, so let's give this a go in our stock cars. Oh, this is a street race. All right, thank you every single person in this lobby for honking. Also, can I just take this time to uh, re-plug the AR-12 stickers? Um, that's all, or the, the, the Galaxy stickers. That's legit all that's left. Um, I know some people didn't know they were still around. Uh, they're currently on sale on the website if you'd like to check them out. There's a link in the description. I think they're all like 20% off, I think. Uh, and they've been going down really, really quickly, so they're all- they're all numbered on the back and stuff like that. They're all individually numbered. So, if you would like one, grab them before they're gone, because they will not be coming back. Uh, I said this in a TDU2 video, and I guess the amount of people who didn't know they were a thing, uh, was a lot. So, yeah. I would really like to do some testing, though, eventually, and do this thing versus the Ferrari F40, because I remember Top Gear did that comparison between these two cars, and yeah, they're pretty close together. This car has no power! It's insane! It's just like, you have to drive as smooth as possible. Ah, oh, shit. I'm all the way down in 8th place. This is actually making for some really close racing, though, because the car's so controllable, it's very easy to drive this thing. Don't go off. Don't go off. Don't end up in the sea. Alright, that's 8th eight, eight place to 3rd place in one corner. Hell yeah. Let's keep going here. We're 50% of the way through the race. Breaking hard. I don't know this course. Thank God we can break down those trees. I got so scared there. Yo, who's that? Big Jid going for a cheeky overtake. Oh, man. We're gonna be... This is gonna be a close race. I love driving these cars, though. Like, they're just so... They're, they're all the same, right? They don't have any upgrades. And they're all just like... They're all exactly the same. It makes for such good racing. Oh, no! No! Traffic! Apparently, I'm the worst, like, free- free driver. God damn it. So, I'll say this. Although this car is kind of slow, and kind of boring to just cruise around in, if everyone jumps in them for a race, oh, damn, you can get some really good races going in. I'm going for it. I realize I screwed that up. Yep, I realized that. That backfired. I think it must be, like, in every one of these videos, I mi I'll miss at least one checkpoint. Anyways, congrats, big- Whoa, Big Jid pulled in at 2 minutes 30, he beat DJ Customs. I guess DJ Customs might have done what I did as well. I, I want to go upgrade this thing, though, and see what upgrades are available. I did see some people with, like, some cool rear wing stuff, I think. So, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so let's see what we've got. Uh, we can do an engine swap. I mean, the back of this car is quite big at the end of the day, so that would make sense. We can toss in- Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the 918 engine. What? No way. 918 powered 959. So that means we're going to be able to get a thousand, uh, 500 pounds of, or no, a thousand, 300 foot pounds of torque. That's insane. Yo, that rear wing's cool too. It like chops out the original one and slots that one in. All right, that's pretty cool. I want to make this thing, though, as fast as freaking possible. 
Horizon Race Tire Compound? Yes, please. Oh, this thing is going to be a monster. I want to see how many 10s we can get across the board. We should be able to get 10, 10 top speed and 10 everything else. Oh, there we go. This is so sick. I, like... There's just something crazy about these Porsches. They're just so fast. Bar goes off the graph. We're 10, 10, 10 across the board now. Holy crap. Oh, wow. We actually lost our 10 on braking because we upgraded our intercooler. All right. Let's find a, a cool paint job for this thing. When you get a 599, a 599, yeah. See, I told you. It's because every freaking car name uses the number 5 or the number 9. So you have the 599. You have the 959. You have a 595. What else do you have? You have a 993, that's a thing. That's not really a five, but close enough. Can people use other numbers, please? And then and then people wonder why I say the wrong car name. I have a feeling it has every uh, it has something to do with every car name being like pretty goddamn similar. So I'm going like full on track car tune with this thing. So it might be kind of a bitch to drive on the road. It's gonna be very stiff, but it should be interesting, I think. Maybe we should use the racetrack. We haven't used the racetrack in a little while. Let's go to the racetrack. Oh my god, the noise! It's a nine- it's a 918! <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! This thing is really cool, I've decided, because it's like- it's, it's this really cool thing you get sometimes, where you get a really old-style body, especially with the- the martini paint job and the gold wheels. But then you have this monstrous engine underneath, and it is stupid fast. Here we go, look at them all. I love that galaxy paint job all the way over there. It just looks so good. So we do have some other things we're going up against. We're going up against a LaFerrari. That should be a good test. A Nismo GTR, eh, and an Ultima 1020 thing. All right, let's uh, see how we go. I think some cars are going to be very, very fast now. Let's just fly and see how it goes. All right, well. <laughs> Every Forza race ever starts that way, good. This is the most sloppy race in Forza history. This course is not big enough for these cars. I feel like if I can just race clean, I can probably catch up to a lot of these guys. I'm closing in on this guy in his galaxy paint job. I'm gonna run wide. God damn it, that, that breaking point comes in a lot sooner than you'd expect. Galaxy guy seems to have had some problems though too. He's got the cool rear wing, he's drifting everywhere. Come on buddy, go! All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta get a good run out of these corners. Get some speed in. I didn't get on the brakes early enough. Didn't brake hard enough. Oh, Galaxy guy. Oh, these two guys battling it out between each other. I'm gonna get him on the final corner. Hell yeah. So a 44 second lap time. Freaking Volks out. He of course rocking that GTR pulls the fastest lap time in the race. Followed up by Mr. DJ Customs. One second later. I will say that was probably not a very good test of the cars though, just because of how small the track was. It was just like, you can never actually get on it. You're always basically in a constant corner. Not cool. So, uh, I'm a massive pleb and totally forgot to restart my face cam. Good on me. I think I've been driving around for like the entire time with this car with no face cam because I'm dumb. Anyways, North Plains Sprint. Let's give this one a go. Hopefully this one goes a bit better now that we've got more more run to go. All right, all wheel drive launch. Come on. Come on. Oh, it doesn't even get anyone. Oh, it's gonna get the Ultima. Goodbye, Ultima. All right, hello, first corner crash. All right, I'm in last place in this race. I'm just gonna sort of start to push people out of the way. All right, now people are pushing me out of the way. All right, this is going well. Thank you, lads. Come on, here we go. Get the power on. Be clean. Oh, yes. The 959 is a monster on the power. Oh yes, I'm up into fourth place. Make that third, make that second. I'm gonna get a good run out of this court. Never mind. No, I'm actually doing pretty well though. Second place, the guy in first is right there. Mm. Oh, held that. Held that. I'm having to hold all these crashes. Yo, this guy in front is riding the walls like crazy. Volk's out, he's flying past in his GTR. That thing lacks some serious power, though. It's just like, you cannot compete with this. Goodbye, first place for me. Holy shit. This thing is a monster. Oh god, don't lose it now, don't lose it now. Doing well, doing well. I got way too much air there. I think I missed the checkpoint. No, no!
I was gonna win the race! And now I'm in seven! No! Always missing checkpoints! God damn it! No! <laughs> I was even- I totally didn't even need to do that! Ah! Alright, let's go for one more race because that was really, really fun. Um, let's go... Let's do this. This could be good, going out of the jungle like that. Yeah, let's try it. Sweeping forest sprint. This is like early, early morning race for the final thing. Let's give it- We dropped two people, bro. Let's try to do as well as possible though. We gotta push real hard here. Try not to take corners way too fast and run wide on them. I find that's my- biggest problem with a lot of these is I just rip it into the corner too fast and I run way too wide like here I want to try to not end up in all of the crashes behind all right this early morning race is making things real difficult it's like I can't see what's coming DJ customs has first place though if I could catch him that would be pretty damn cool holy shit you see what I mean people just run into the corner Full speed. I better have got that check. This guy just pushes me everywhere. Push 959. Nine. Don't miss that checkpoint. We good. We nailed it. All right, sun's coming up. It's getting a little bit easier to see now. Hopefully one of these two guys screws up. Yep, the person who screws up is uh, yours truly. All right, now it's much easier to see. Ripping it into the city we go. We're going to get a couple nice corners in here. This should be good. Moving up a place there up to six now. Going well. Alan's running into a lot of boxes here, getting them out of my way. That's going to slow him down. Good, and they're both running wide through the corner. Hell yeah. All right, get the power on. Come on. Come on, Porsche. It's so much better to go slow through the corners than come out fast. It's just so, so much better. Come on, 10% left. One of these guys is going to have a problem. There goes Alan into the wall. Well, today's races didn't go particularly well, I've decided. I mean, it's a fantastic car dot 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 providing you can actually control the thing like it just has so much power it's able to spin up its wheels so easily even though it is all-wheel drive pretty cool car i like it i would like to do some testing between that and the uh f40 like i was saying so maybe stay tuned for that anyways i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed if you did subscribe down below for more and yeah follow on twitter so you can be notified of future uh open lobbies like this and check out the website to stay up to date with Forzathon and everything happening with it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!